surgery. We are on our way to the surgery center and Mikey is gonna drop me off. My surgery time is at 2.30 and my check-in time is 1.30 and it's 12.46 right now. Um, I look like death because, you know, they say no makeup. So here's my real face. I am starving. I've been NPO since midnight last night. It's been 12 hours since the last time I ate or drank. It's dumb. I don't know why they tell you that. All you need is six hours of it, but whatever. I have to just make sure I don't get surgeries often. Um, what else do I talk about? Mikey's gonna pick me up. It's COVID season, so he can't be there, which is great. So I'll be all alone the whole time. He'll just see me when I'm done. I know, I don't think you even looked at my previous, I don't know if you'll remember. Huh? Are you gonna, are you gonna remember what I look like pr prior to? Oh, so you got photographic memory. <laughs> Lies. Isla's in the back and Grayson's in the back. They're gonna wish me luck, right, buddy? This guy's trying to I want third. I want water. I'm so thirsty. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted. So my IV has started, and we're just waiting for the surgeon, Dr. Ness, and the anesthesiologist to come. Talking a little bit um, quiet because I don't want to be super loud. I'm in a room, however, I'm in a, my own room, but I just don't want to be super loud. Um, anyway, I am just, I don't know why I have a mask on, I'm alone. Um, here's my IV, and I've got LR running. Uh, surgery time is 2.30, it's about 2.12 p.m., so anytime soon, we're gonna wheel me in. I'm in my hospital gown, I've got stockings, my tub stock, and my socks. Um, so update, last night I took a shower with Hibbic Cleanse, and what that is is just an antimicrobial soap. I um, scrubbed everything, especially my front, my neck, my arms, um, and then I showered again today and I washed my hair this morning. I did the same process, scrubbed my, my whole body with the cleanse basically, and I, I scrubbed my face with like this coffee scrub, and then I washed my hair, um, and they told me not to put any lotion on, so I just did a little bit of moisturizer on my face, they said that's fine, a little bit of um, just chapstick or whatever on my lips to keep it from chapping, shape, chapping, drying up um, on my face. It's moist at least, keeping my face moist, but not the rest of my body it's so dry. Um, but vital signs are fine in here. I'm stoked, a little bit apprehensive, but stoked. And I can't wait. I took a free app pictures. I could show you guys later. And hopefully next thing I know, it'll be close up pictures and I'm feeling good. Again, apprehensive of the anesthesia and just recovery period, but I'm thinking positive, guys. We got this. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, just got back from picking the lies up from the surgery. How are you feeling? It's so tight. Press on the body. Oh my god, it's so tight. Like any movement, it feels like. It feels like I'm breastfeeding again. Like, but super engorged. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. I'll be right with you in one moment. Yep. Okay, Joseph. I 
can't even move my arms. It is so tight. Oh, yeah, I'm tired too. So update. Oh, shit. Um, it's been about four hours. What? Doing an update video. Three hours. Uh, it's been about three hours since the surgery. I um, recovered for about 45 minutes, maybe. Um, and Mikey came and picked me up. This is a scopolamine patch. Um, it's used for, not everybody, but for people that have a history of motion sickness, which I do. I get really, really car sick or seasick sometimes in the airplane as well, but not as much. But anyway, um, so they put a skull patch up behind my ear. I think I have it on right. But um, you're not supposed to touch the skull patch because if you do, then it transfers into your fingers. And then if you touch anything, especially your eye, your eyes get dilated and then you get some vision changes. I mean, it's nothing too serious, It's but it, it's just something that can happen. Um, and so I covered it with gauze, but I didn't, I don't know if I did a pretty good job. It looks really stupid, but I did as much as I can without having to like move my, all of my arms. But update on how I feel. I got really, um, dizzy when I left or like on our way home driving. Um, they gave me a couple of drugs. So during surgery, they gave me, um, Propofol, which is a sedative, and then apparently ketamine. I don't know why, but they did, um, which gave me really good dreams. Um, I was literally having a dream about being on the beach, drinking margarita. I know it sounds fake because people feel like people drink. I dream those all the time, but or say that they dream those, but I actually did. So that was weird, but cool. I enjoyed my dream, and then. Apparently I was super shaky during surgery, so they gave me um, Demerol, which is a drug for shaking during surgery, I guess. Probably helped. And then um, after surgery, they gave me um, fentanyl. Oh, they also gave me Versed. So they gave me Versed before my propofol, which I was still awake when they gave that. So then, I'll, and I didn't know they gave it to me. So then I was laying down on the table, cold as hell. Um, they were putting some blood pressure cuff on me and then all of a sudden I noticed the ceilings are moving and I was like, why is the ceiling moving? Like, it's weird. Like, it's going in waves. And they're like, oh, it's probably the Versed. I was like, oh, cool. Great. And that was the last thing I remember. Um, and then, so then after I, wake, I woke up, they gave me fentanyl. Initially, they asked me how my pain was and I think I was just waking up and groggy and I said, it's a four, but I felt really tight. They're like, okay, you're fine. And then like literally five minutes later, the pain got worse and I was like, yeah, it's a six. And they're like, okay, we'll give you some fentanyl. And the nurse in me is such a dummy. Like I seriously was so groggy. I was like, can you just give me 25? And they're like, oh, you must be a nurse. I said, oh shit, yes, I am. <laughs> they're like, that's okay. I gave you just 25 then. I said, perfect. And then right before I left, then that, my pain got better. But right before I left, they gave me Norco and like during the drive home because the drive was about almost an hour i started getting dizzy like and this is what happens with me with narcotics i just i get real dizzy and like floaty like just a high feeling i didn't like it i mean it improved my pain but i did not like how it feels i'm still drugged up right now from that but the dizziness went away finally um i took a nap and that might have helped um i got nauseous too when i got home So I took a nap, mini nap, I feel better, and I ate, Mikey gave me some fall, and here I am just resting, I'll keep you guys posted in the morning.
It should be better by then, but like the first time you put a band on because you're getting compressed. Like all that swelling from your muscles are getting compressed, but it hurts so bad. Ooh, I'm gonna not cry. There's not like gonna a cry. booger on a tissue. Nasty. Alright, update. Um, it is morning of, or the day of surgery, so it's day one. Um, and it has been kind of a roller coaster. Um, I kind of told you guys about what happened last night. Um, I tried not to take any more narcotics before bedtime last night. So I just took my normal dosage of the Celebrex, which is an anti-inflammatory. And then I took Tylenol before I went to bed. But I did have it in hand just in case I wake up and then I can't get up and get myself some help to get the pills. So I put it in my pocket while I was sleeping. And around 4.30 I woke up because um, there I had ice back on all night to help with the swelling. And then all of a sudden at 4.30 I woke up because I was soaking. The ice pack had leaked and my whole left side of my body was soaking. Say hi. Um, and then I was trying to clean myself up and realized I was so stiff and in so much pain. Luckily I had that half tablet of Norco in my pocket. So I took it and because I was in pain, I can't really move. I was sleeping on a recliner and it was so bad. Like I, I, Mikey would have to help me get out of there. And cause I couldn't do that, he was asleep. I just slept in wet clothes, whatever. I slept in wet clothes and took that pay, uh, Norco, half a Norco. Mikey literally, I was helping myself getting in and out of the car today, but as soon as I got out of that clinic, Mikey re literally needed almost to carry me into the car because I could not move. And I am still very tender, but if I move, like if I don't move, I'm okay. So I'm kind of dreading getting out of this car. So we'll see, but it's painful. All right, dude, get back. Mikey just went and got us some food. Oh, yeah. Got some food. Hungry. We got, no, thank you. We got some dinner. Or lunch. We have sushi um, for lunch. We're having sushi. Get we'll over see there. if I, I can gotta tolerate put, I gotta that. Put this food there, but... And some soup. Um, and that's about it. And I update you guys for one more journal, and that'll be it. <laughs> All right. Here's my lunch update. Um, last update for this video. Um, my journey of breast augmentation. I'll upload more videos. Um, in a few months, uh, once I have, or a few weeks, once I have slightly or almost healed um, and I'm not in so much pain and I can actually shop for bras, it's kind of my plan once the uh, swelling has subsided. I'm actually looking forward to shop for more scrubs. I work in healthcare, so I love scrubs um, and I wanna buy one that will finally fit me. With this new thing. It's always looked so baggy on me because I don't have any breasts. 
or I had, as what Dr. Ness had put in my diagnosis as micromastia, mastia, meaning very, very little breast tissue, um, which is why it's the reason why I'm doing it. Um, it's hurting a lot right now. I took some Norco um, when I got home from that clinic appointment. Um, I just took half a tablet of Norco again. Um, it still hasn't kicked in. It's still kind of painful. But... So I just took some Tylenol as well. Um, and then hopefully I'm going to take some nap here. I'm holding on to it because I feel like splinting the really swollen tissue helps especially when I'm up and about. When I'm laying down, it's not as bad. But when I'm walking, I'm up and about. Even here in the house, it hurts a lot. The swelling is just super tight. People are correct when they say that it feels like the time when your milk just came in and you feel so engorged, that's exactly what this feels like, just 10 times worse. It is no fun. Um, a little bloat. A little bloated because just really not eating very healthy stuff lately because I just eat whatever I want at the moment just to make me feel better but I should really get back to eating healthy but anyway one thing at a time um, I kind of just want to show you guys the band that he applied today so he tightened this bra um, and it's gotten a whole lot tighter. I can definitely feel compression from this bra. Last night I did not. It just felt like a bra. Um, and then I still have like those two boulders on the top sitting. They're sitting really high right there. And so that's why we're, we're doing this band. He wrapped me up on top of the bra with a band to kind of compress a little bit more. It might not even be as tight yet. But as soon as I had it on after the clinic, it was so painful and it still is. So I think we're gonna just keep it a little looser and day by day we'll tolerate it becoming more tight. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Last upgrade for my journey. Um, I'll create another video for when I'm almost or fully healed or almost healed when I can um, go shopping for bras and just see less swelling and update you then. All right, bye.